best get get prepared. Get prepared. Get prepared. Shh. Listen, Listen carefully. carefully. Pay attention. attention. Yes, welcome back to my channel. On today's tutorial, I have a beautiful gown that I want to show you how to make it. I hope you can see it. The beautiful dress down there is very beautiful. When I saw the picture, I loved it. I said, let me copy and paste and see how it's going to look. So stay tuned and please subscribe to my channel. Do give us thumbs up if you like what I'm doing and share with your friends and colleagues. Okay, so let's begin. The length of this dress that I'm going to make is 38 and I'm, I'm doing it 39 for the folding allowance this is my 39 and i have the armpits to be at nine okay and uh, waist to be at 16 and uh, hip to be at 26 that is from shoulder all these things i'm doing is from shoulder. this is the shoulder length armpit line the waist line the hip line and then the length of which I've already added one inch folding allowance. So on my measurement, I have shoulder to be 16. It's divided by two, give us eight. So I have eight here and I come down to the armpit line have my eight that is shoulder 16 divided by two and i join them straight like this put my two inches at the point of intersection and curve it in and this is the waistline the hip and the length and her bust is uh, 42 42 divided by four give us 10 and a half and i'll have to add extra one inch allowance okay then the waist is at uh, 38 38 divided by four will give us what nine and a half nine and a half and i add extra one inch which is at ten and a half then the hip is uh, 46 46 divided by four will give us eleven and a half hey half a calendar add extra one inch then i'll have to make it a little bit pencil since the hip is 11 and 11 and a half and i'm gonna use a, a 10 and here is 11. Yeah. then i'll have to join them i can use my curve if i like and i can still use my free hand so let me use my free hand like this like this this okay this is the back pattern but i forgot to add the allowance here half inch allowance for sima uh, sima allowance here uh, but no problem i'll still add it while i'm drafting it on the material on the fabric so let's cut it out you can see our beautiful pattern this thing can only be achieved to slash and spread so this is the hip line i'm marking this out so that you won't get confused okay so from here that is let me say one inch below the hip line like this this is where I'm going to start my slash and spread. So from here, I'll do my slash like this. Slash one. The back pattern. <coughs> I'll now keep this, make the front pattern, slash it, spread everything and place it on the fabric. So let's draft the front pattern. This is the back. Okay. Okay. Time to draft the front pattern. Our length as usual is 38 and I add one inch 
for folding allowance and mark my shoulder line. Let me mark my shoulder line. Okay, so, and I mark my ample line, which is at 9, and the waistline at 16, the hip at 26, and then the length. So the shoulder is uh, 16, divided by 2 gives us 8, mark it on shoulder line, and also mark it on the armpit line. Join them and then at the point of intersection, put your two, mark it, curve it in like this. Okay, and the bust is uh, it is ten and a half. That is this. And I add one inch. And that is this. Then the waist is uh, thirty-eight, which is nine and a half. That is this. And I add extra one inch. That is this. Then the hip is uh, 46, that is 11 and a half. I add one inch, 12 and a half, okay? So, and here I used 10, that is this, and I add one inch, that is this. So I'm gonna curve in the shape with free hand. Remember you can still use your curve, but I prefer my free hand. Okay, this is the allowance. Follow it the same way. Get to it and cover it in. Okay, so I think I'm gonna draft the neck immediately. The front neck. Oh, I just remember I didn't do the back. Let me do the front and I'll do the back. I'll do it four and a half by four inches. You can use your curve and get it quickly. Like this. Then, always remember to slant your shoulder by half. This is half inch. Then let's cut, cut, cut it out. Okay, you can see our beautiful pattern. This is the front pattern. This is the front, okay? So, and we have to spread it out. You can see that this is a uh, right, mm? no, this is left. Mistake here, please. This is left, and this is right, and this is our symmetry line of symmetry, okay? Yeah, you're gonna do it. Remove something like a quarter and from here curve it into this place. So my curve will go like this straight, straight up, like this. Yeah. And we are going to slash from this hip this way, this way. I want to use my curve slash here, my curve ruler here. You can still use your straight one, both will give you the same thing. Slash it. So this is our, our slash lines. Let's cut it out. It's our left pattern. So I'm gonna draft the right pattern and slash everything together. Wow, this is for the right pattern time to draft the right pattern you can see that on the you can see that on the left pattern I cut out from the right so that the left part will remain so on the right pattern I will have to cut from the left so that the right pattern will have to remain then I'm gonna start it somewhere here about let's measure it about four inches yeah let's use four inches and here it's going to be something like a one and a half inch. Okay? Then you cut it in. 
can use your cup, you can use your free hand. This cup did not give me what I want, so let me use my free hand. I'm going to use it this way. This way. Then, I'm going to slash and spread, and my slash is going to go this way. Remember, it's about one inch from my hip line, which is some. Let me mark the hip line. The hip line is at 26. Yeah, this is my hip line. 26. Then, about one inch from the hip line, something like this. So from here, I'm going to draft. I'm going to slash and spread like this. You can use curve slashes. You can use straight slashes. You can see our right pattern. This is the right pattern. Okay? So we no longer have left so that it's not confuse us i'm just doing this so it don't confuse so this is the right pattern and the other one is the left pattern so let's slash and spread oh yeah we have first okay. so time to we have to start from the back this pattern will stay here and this pattern will stay here and we have my back remember this back is folded here is uh, here is folded or I'll just you know let it have a okay I'll let it have a cut here so that I'm gonna achieve the you know the curve that is going to appear on this pattern so we have four inches here and we have two and a half inches this is the back leg curve it in remember you can still use your curve then slant it by half So let's slash and spread it on our fabric. Okay, like this. Like this. What was picky, picky, does it? Okay. So let's place it on our fabric. this on the fabric I don't want so ooh, I move it ooh, our pattern is looking funny this way it's gonna look this way you can see it please 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 don't be bored okay but I noticed that some of you will just view my video and you will not subscribe oh it's not good now please now subscribe to my channel okay i hope you like what i'm doing i'm trying to teach you a very important skill here so stay tuned and give me thumbs up thumbs up while we slash and spread okay has banned look out for my videos please make sure that while subscribing you hit the notification button so that you're gonna get my notification anytime i upload a new video thank you very much mm, love you